if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the next one. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be a, about a camera review on a camera that I've got from a friend of mine called Gaz. Now Gaz is sort of person, he rummages around boot fairs and antique shops, and uh, he went to a local boot fair a little while ago, a few weeks ago, and if you don't know what a boot fair is, if you're not from the UK, I don't know how familiar you are with it in the States or any other country, but um, it's basically a massive field where people take their cars, throw their household junk and unwanted goods in, people go along and buy them. Uh, but anyway, Gaz found a box of stuff and he texted me, he said, I've got this box of stuff. Um, he said, it's all darkroom gear. He said, uh, I've got it for you. I said, okay, thanks very much. And he said, I'll bring it round. I said, lovely. Well, when they brought it round, I wasn't in. So when I came home, um, this box of stuff was, sit was, sitting in, um, was sitting next to my front door. And I went through it. And thanks a lot for that, guys. But none of it was dark room. It was just a pile of junk uh, that you picked up. But the heart was there. Anyway, but I did find a little tiny gem inside, which is this uh, Helena 35X camera. Now, it looks a bit shiny because I've cleaned it up. It was really bad condition. Um, so I kind of just basically took the lens apart and, and gave it a little clean, uh, put a little tiny bit of lubricant inside the, the shuttle mechanics and whatnot. And I thought I'd give it a go rather than just sitting on the shelf, sh sitting on the shelf doing nothing. I thought I'd give it a go and see how it works. So um, that's what I'm going to do today. And if you remember my last video, I was shooting the T-Max. Um, I've still got some of this left inside this can, so I'm going to use the T-Max on this camera and see if it works. The first thing I've got to do is check for light leaks, and I have got a video on this in the past, but basically what I'm going to do is, if I can open the back of the camera, there goes, there goes the mic. Basically what I'm going to do, so the back of the, so the, back of the camera opens, as you can see, like that, and it slides on. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically just um, tape a roll of film, probably to the back, uh, just a strip of film here, just enough for me to take one exposure in bright sunlight, and then I'm going to put some of that x -tol, not diluted, just put it straight in there, undiluted x -tol, uh one part if you like x uh inside this film canister, and then I'll just drop the negative in there, just develop it for however long I've I need to develop it for and uh, yeah see if there's any light leaks on this camera if there's not I'm going to put the rest of the roll inside the camera take a photograph from this camera make a nice print and hopefully um, it'll be good enough to frame and put in my home somewhere thing going on with the neg I don't know whether that's uh, a leak with the camera probably or whether or not it was the way that I developed it I've developed it this way I've developed um, the tested cameras this way before I never had any any problems with the negs so I'm just thinking it might be a light leak or possibly it could be the way I developed it just might have been just might have been one of those things so I'm still gonna go off put the film inside the roll go out shoot some stuff come back and have a look um, it's not a waste of film to me because if the if the, if it comes back and there's no light leaks then I can use this camera again it's quite a fun camera to use so uh, let's get out and see what we can find to photograph come back develop the film and see if this camera works okay so I'm off now for a little walk down into the village to shoot the rest of this roll I don't know how many shots I'm gonna get out of it um, it's a beautiful sunny day so I'm gonna be shooting the sunny 16 roll now because I've got a 400 speed film inside this camera, it's not really going to work for me because I've only, I can only go up to 200 per second on this camera. So I'm going to um, pull the film. So I'm going to treat the film as a 200 speed film and develop it as such. Whoop. Where am I going? There I am. And develop it as such when I get back. So um, in fact, pulling the film. So uh, let's get down to the village and show you around.
So this is a nice little feature in our village. This is the old uh, station house. This used to be a train station. And where these gates are, uh, either side was where the tracks used to be. Um, but they've done away with all that and turned it into a cycle path. So you can see on this old poster, this is, uh, this is the house I just showed you. It's where the old steam train, this is the cycle path, which is uh, where well, the old rail tracks, which is now a cycle path. And uh, a couple of ladies there doing something with the trains. And that's that house there. And I'll just show you this angle now, today. And this is the same angle as today, except you can see this is a cycle path, whereas it used to be a railway track and the steam trains used to come through. Pretty interesting. Maybe I should take a photograph of this. This is the moment where George gets excited because I've come home. Hey, George! Hello, mate. <laughs> You're happy to see me? Yeah, yeah, I know. You're happy to see me? Yeah. Come on, then. Come on, then, where are you? Where are you gone? <laughs> so, starting this video without even testing that camera, it could have been a complete disaster. I could have had some trash negatives and I, you know, I was thinking halfway through, if, if I do, where am I going to go from there? Do I put the video out or not? But I'm glad to say that the negatives have come out really well. Uh, you can't see them like this. I'll just stick them on the light box, my homemade light box. So what I'm going to do now is make a contact print just so that I can see um, the negatives on paper that way I'll be able to choose which print I want to make and uh, put indoors on the wall not sure what the wife will think having a bit of the village at home on the wall but um, hey -o. So I'm back from the darkroom now and uh, as you saw I made a print and also a contact print as well and this is the contact print that I made, if you can see that without the sheen, I'll show you some here. So this is just really a reference for me to have a look and see which image I wanted to print. This is all I took, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 images I took when I was out, more than I thought. Um, so that was the contact print. And these were the two images that I liked out of all of them. That was the uh, the electric cables there in the village. Quite a nice print. Maybe this one's a little bit underexposed. But, uh, you know, that's my fault for, for not taking a light meter and, and going by the sunny 16 rule. But that's, that's neither here nor there with about this video. It's all about shooting this little camera, um, which is what, what I've done today. Tried it out. I nearly, I nearly actually... Um, dismissed it I didn't think it was because it was kind of in bad condition when I got it I thought it would be it wouldn't work and um but you know just a little bit of a uh, little bit of TLC on it and um it just proves that you could take an old camera and and get a decent photograph out this is the one here I like I'm actually going to frame this and have this indoors at some point so I'll protect this print put it in a wrapper until I get a frame for it it's a 10 by 8 print um but I quite like this one it just it does it for me. Um, pleased to say there's no leaks, there's no light leaks, not that I noticed anyway, or, or if there is, they're very, very, very slight. Um, but as I say, I didn't, I didn't notice any. So yeah, these cameras, I, know, I looked on eBay, and they're about eight, eight to 10 quid, which is pounds, eight to 10 pounds on eBay. Um, so it's called the Helena 35X, quite a fun little camera. A little bit tricky and fiddly, but they are, because they're old. And um, yeah, I'm glad Gary bought this box of bits back for me and uh, this was inside so I'm going to keep this camera now and I might use it again at some point just for a bit of fun and um, anyway guys hope you like the video 
Hope you like seeing a little bit around where I live. Uh, please subscribe, like, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>